you know, there is a domino effect that things fall. How do you manifest? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to enter bad girl power in 2024. I know it's February already, but it's never too late to have tips on self elevation. So, the first is set goals. What are the goals you've set for yourself? Goals are really important because if you are unable to set goals, you will not be able to know how to effectively track your milestones. So set goals. What are the things you want to achieve? Be it February. Start by setting little goals. You know, there is a domino effect. By the time you're hitting the first goal, you're hitting the second goal. By the time you want to look at it, you've achieved a whole lot of things. So set goals for yourself. So this is February. If you've not set goals for yourself, I think this is the right time for you to do that. To practice self-gratitude, you need to know how to be kind to yourself. You need to be kind to yourself. I had a situation, there was a time, I think it just happened recently where all of a sudden like I easily let things fall and I even hurt my leg at some point. Then I was so pissed off with myself and I tell myself, you're so clumsy, you're so clumsy. And I had to tell a friend about it like, and he was like, you need to be kind to yourself. And that made a whole lot of sense. A lot of us are not kind to ourselves. A lot of us are not positive. Like we are so hard on ourselves. The same things which other people might tell us and that will get us pissed off. We do tell ourselves and we do accept it. So when you practice self gratitude, you're basically just like, you know, being appreciative of who you are, of what you've achieved, of how far you've come. You're being kind to yourself. You're being soft on yourself. You're not so hard on yourself. Many people are so hard on themselves. The same things which they will not allow others to do to them, they do it to their own selves, especially when it comes to the use of words, being kind with words. So yeah, practice self gratitude. Tip number manifest. After writing out your desired goals, how do you manifest? I'm going to tell you guys a little story. So this January, you know, there was the whole flying around. In fact, I did a video about the vision board. So I also did my own vision board. Um, I wrote out the things I wanted to manifest. That included my personal goals about my personal life and my business and also my idea about content creation. So, but something struck me about Instagram. So I've had difficulties growing my Instagram page for some time now. And I just decided to say, let me use this as an experiment to see if this really works. So for Instagram, I every morning I will write out, this is what I want to achieve by this time. This is what I want to achieve. And I'm like, and the more I said that, I discovered that like my, it felt like I was aligning with what I was saying and within that period where i did this in the morning i'm going to write it i'm going to say it out to myself i'm going to like say it out internally sometimes i don't even say it out loud internally i'm like reading it over and over and over in my mind i did that in the morning i did that in the afternoon even when i was praying in the evening i did that and i noticed like for every single post i posted within that time it performed way better than my previous post when i was not doing any of this so for you to manifest you need to let your desired goals align with your inner person and that's the reason why people say vision board because the more you see it and there's a 365 rule i think i also applied it where you write out the things you want to manifest and you say it out three times a day you, you write you write it three times in the morning you write it six times in the afternoon and you write it nine times 369 you write it nine times at night so like when you do this what it does is there's the energy it brings out which aligns with the universe if that makes any sense <laughs> that it does make sense to me and the things you desire to see starts manifesting you start seeing it happening it may take it happens differently with different people some people it might be immediate and some people it takes time but it does actually come to reality so learn to manifest once you've able to set your goals keep saying it to yourself believe it like internalize it like it should be something at the top of your mind and without you knowing you start manifesting it you start really believing it and even if it's something that requires you to take some certain actions you start having great ideas on what the on the things you can do to be able to achieve your set goals so start to manifest number four let go of the past and keep moving um 
it's pretty difficult because people's experiences are different some people are traumatized so yes i say this with a pinch of salt but that's the truth you need to let go of those negative past that is influencing your present negatively you need to let it go for you to be able to move on if you really desire to move on then you have to really learn to let go of the past if it requires you talking to somebody going through therapy just do whatsoever is needed tip number five and the final learn to manage your money right my ladies, I know we like shopping, we like doing things. I like it too. I like shopping, I like traveling, I like all of that. But you need to know how to spend within a budget. You need to know how to spend within your means and within what you earn. It's just a very simple rule. If you spend more than you earn, that's a recipe for disaster, financial disaster. So you need to know how to spend your money, right? If you're investing in things which you know is going to yield income in the nearest future, then that's fine. But if it's just like spend overhead expenses, you're just shopping on clothes to wear on trips, and you know you really cannot afford this in the long term. It's not just a portion of your income. You're spending almost every part of your income for this. Then you need to stop right now, all right? This channel is about making strong and powerful women more stronger and more powerful and not to let us go broke because we're trying to appear a certain way so guys those are the things i have for you until next time it's your girl glory do have a wonderful time bye